Hey, it's Moon from Triple Moon Goddess 1111. Thank you so much for stopping by. I thought I would bring you another beautiful Oracle deck review um, by Colet Baron Reed. She's one of my favorite Oracle um, creators. And it's so beautiful. I had to get it. I came across it when I had gotten that um, Star Temple. Anyways, there's a few things that I would like to share with you. I made some third eye water to connect to the higher realms. So I made this on the full moon Aquarius because the sign Aquarius is I know, right? So I know the unknowing, kind of the third eye channeling into the higher realm. So I made this special moon water. Just thought I would share it with you. I'll probably sell little vials of it. And then I, I made this deck out of a uh, playing card. So I'll be using these for fortunes. Um, I made it out of a stargazer deck. These are little black holes, but I put the fortunes on there. So I'll be using that in some of my readings. Thought that was interesting. So let's go ahead and get into this Oracle deck review. Let me just bring you guys a little closer. All right. To you over there. So let's go ahead and open this. I came across this when I was getting that temple, the star temple oracle. And I seen this and I'm like, I gotta have it because Colet Baron Reed is one of my favorites. She has the wisdom and a whole lot of other beautiful oracles. The shaman. She has so many nice oracles out. So it comes in a flip top magnet box. Co, wait, let's see, co-create your most beautiful and meaningful manifestations. And the back, it says, the wisdom of energy of seven can be seen in cultures all over the world, in belief systems throughout history, and in your own life today. Its influence is reflected in the way you think, how you make decisions, and what you encounter within yourself. And the conditions of the world Drawing upon the power of seven, this oracle reveals how we as individuals experience our lives, giving us a framework from which to make empowered choices as we co-create our reality. With guidance from intuitive master and oracle expert, call it Bering Reed, you can now awaken to the power of the source within you becoming a channel for divine abundance and miracles. It's real pretty. Seven is my lucky number. I was born on March 7, so I love anything that has seven in it. It was illustrated by Jenna Della Grattagilia. Grattagilia. I can't pronounce her name, but... It's a 49 card deck guidebook. Just go ahead and pull it out. Has the little guidebook. I got this because it kind of reminds me a little bit of the wisdom. It has the little um, things up there and it has just kind of reminded me of it a little bit. Let's go ahead and see how the, just be careful when I, I hate taking these out, I might scratch the cards. Okay, what I like about this deck already is that even though it's matte, it's still kind of um, smooth, like the cards you get from my playingcards.com. 
nice little second here. Okay. I'm trying to open it without ruining the deck. There we go. Okay, so that's the box, the guidebook. Oh, what is that? I'm so picky with my decks. Like, what is that? Something wrong with it. So this is the beautiful, lovely back. It kind of reminds me of the love activations a little bit with the little swirl. Earth magic. It's about being grounded. Roots of abundance. Time machine. Great and full. See, I, I thought this would be a little bit like wisdom. It kind of has that familiar body and soul. It is what it is. It, take a deep breath. Into me I see looking within yourself. That's beautiful. The roses kiss. Look at the little ladybug. The rose is like a rainbow. That's so pretty. The little animals in here, they're all like rainbows. In perfect harmony. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Close encounters. In perfect harmony. Look, number 11, perfect harmony. It's beautiful. Bearing fruit. Wow, that's so beautiful. Look at that. Feeling the world. Beautiful uncaging. Maybe that's somebody that where you're trapped and you're set free. Powerful move, a powerful move. It's got a key. The royal you, emperor, empress, the storyteller, the power of the purpose, waking the lion, by the way, right now we are in the Lion's Gate and we are in the 8-8 eight, eight portal. So that's why I have my Leo card out. Waking the Lion. A merry motive. Are those fireflies? It's real beautiful. I love her art. Exposed and revealed. See? Seeing the unseen, knowing the unknown. It's like my third eye water. Exposed and revealed. Because we carry light codes. Tender embrace. Aww. Look at the elephant's eye. It's like a flower. Healing the heart. It's beautiful. Let it go. Isn't that kind of like the one from the wisdom? Let, I don't know, it just seems so familiar. Let it go. 
birds of a feather. Great big love. You know, I wonder if you can use these with the wisdom. I bet you can. That's why I got these, because they look so, um, so, so much like them. And I think that, um, when she did the wisdom, she should have made the cardstock like this, where it's like semi glossy but matte, so that the light doesn't glare on it. Because the wisdom oracle, it's beautiful, but the thing is, it's real shiny. A grand symphony broken open. I've been seeing a lot of oracle cards with similarities like broken open. Awakening genius. Oh, look at that. Shining through. Call of the Muse. She kind of looks like the same world or the world one. Call of the Muse. Quieting the mind. Ears wide open. Opening to discovery. Look, there's a key. Look, something clicked, huh? A tall tale, seeing beyond, there you go with the third eye, seeing the unseen, knowing the unknown, the oracle's gift. So this is what is on the cover, but with the design that's on the back of the cards is in there. I don't know, I was just seeing things, but it kind of reminded me of a crow or something. But then, look at, there's eyes in there. Endless possibilities. I love how she put a lot of stars and like connecting with the third eye. See how they all have like stars where their third eye is? Wish upon a star, isn't that kind of like um, the wisdom has something similar. We're gonna go, okay, maybe I'll make a video of the cards, you know, together just to see how different they are. The land between a higher view. Smoke and mirrors. Spirit of gratitude. The divine matrix. I like that because um, kind of reminds me of an oracle I want to make with the star maps. And it's like a matrix into the uh, portal. Beyond the ordinary, the uncharted sea. I've seen this on a different picture where it's like a boat with a lantern on it. I just seen it somewhere on a site or something. I'm just trying to think. The sacred reverence. There's a lot of keys to um, Connect um, with the other cards. There's a lot of keys in them. A lot of lotus flowers. A burst of magic. Like the flowers are like bursting and willing release. That's pretty. All right. So that is the Oracle of the Seven Energies. By Colette Baron Reed, illustrated by Jenna Della Gratelja. It's beautiful. 
You can get this on Amazon. The price went down. I paid the pre-order price and then they gave me a refund because the price went down. So I don't know why that happened, but anyways, at least I got a lower price on it. It, I believe is $24.99, something like that now, but it was almost $30. But you could find it on Amazon for $24.99, something like that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick you guys a card. One. Two, three. All right, so group one, two, and three. I see that. All right. So there's group one, two, three, and I'm going to go ahead and pull group one. Shining through. Maybe for some of you, you're shining through like a star. Like you're not letting anything bring you down. You're just shining through. You're doing good at work or you're doing good on your videos. You're shining through. All right, group two. The royal you. It's like, you are royal. You got this. You're doing really good. You are an empress. Number 16, you are an empress. Oh, and look. 16 equals 7. Lucky 7. Lucky you. All right, group 3. A grand symphony. This is like a really exciting time for you. And I believe that um, everything that's happened, it's happened for a reason. But right now, something really exciting is happening for you. And that is really good. It's like a grand symphony. Like, you know, when you get chills and goosebumps, it's just going to fall together like a grand symphony for you. So group one, two, and three, you can take them all shining through because the royal you, you are royal because this is a grand symphony. It's like you achieved all your goals that you needed to achieve. You're doing really good right now. Um, very fortunate. All right, so I hope you like this deck. Go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the little bell so that you could be notified. And when I reach a thousand subscribers, I'll even do like when I reach 500 subscribers, I'll do some giveaways on some skincare. But when I reach a thousand subscribers, me and my friend Cynthia from Cherub's Thunder, we're going to give away the Honest Truth Tarot deck. Look at that. A lot of people like this deck because of the Two of Cups, Nine of Cups. All right, so me and Cynthia, when we hit a thousand subscribers, we will give away a deck. And I have a ton more of giveaways. So just to um, make it easier, I will give away when I hit 500 subscribers. I will give away some retinol or some skincare and a few other things like makeup or eyelashes, stuff like that. And if you're a guy, maybe a grooming kit or whatever it is, but go ahead and hit like and subscribe and I will see you guys on my next reading or Oracle review. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.